I'm Aiden Livingston from Call to Action, and this is Eric Overman from Donor Digital. What can you tell me about Donor Digital? Well, we're a progressive uh, fundraising agency that uh, focuses obviously on the digital online space. Makes uh, sense. We were one of the first online agencies founded but dedicated to nonprofit fundraising. And so you guys also do a lot of the traditional fundraising as well as the um, new media fundraising, if you will, for lack of better terminology. Do you think at some point there's going to be a switch? Um, that it's really the emphasis is going to be put on the new media stuff versus the traditional? So certainly as, as the channel that catches the funding, I think online and mobile will dominate. And mobile may eclipse online before online eclipses traditional channels at this point. Why do you think that? Well, I mean, you've had more web-enabled smartphones sold in the last 12 months than laptops ever, right? So the way by which we engage in the world is just changing dramatically, right? I mean, people don't have landlines anymore if they're uh, your age, uh, you know, certainly. Um, and it's just a changing environment. Do you find people are hesitant to donate or interact with money mobily? Is there any pushback because of that? Any security fears? Or something? I'm sure there are. I mean, the same thing was with online five years ago. Right. You know, you're afraid to put your credit card into a website and now, you know, when's the last time you wrote a paper check yourself? Um, it's we do all you know we all do our banking online we watch our stock portfolios online I think you know the comfort level with, with doing that stuff electronically uh, is very high and I think certainly that the online comfort level will transfer right over into mobile so speaking of online and mobile how can campaigns kind of bring together their social as well as their mobile fundraising are there any good solutions to tie those because those usually exist separately. Is there any way so to compete off each other? Yeah, I think certainly there's definitely an interplay across all those channels. I, I read a, a good word in one of the nonprofit magazines in the, in the package the other day, Omni. You know, it's no longer, you know, integrated or multi-channel, it's Omni-channel kind of was a, a, an interesting terminology, which, which means, yeah, we, all these channels, um, they each have their own pros and cons depending on what you're trying to get people to do, who you're trying to reach, whether you're trying to get uh, advocacy action or a donation per se, who you're trying to reach. Um, but, but we would say that you know, your, your messaging certainly should be consistent across all those channels. Um, certainly mobile and social are, are really intertwined in my opinion, uh, especially now we have geo capabilities coming in on mobile, you know, you check in on Foursquare and it tweets and Facebook updates and I think there's going to be seamless soon. Well, it's funny though you say soon, why is it still slow in adapting? Why, I mean, even though the technology is increasing so fast, why is the adaption of the technology and fundraising still so slow? Well, I mean, as an industry, this industry has always been 10 years behind in my opinion. Uh, you know, resources, capabilities. Um, of where we are in the commercial world, right? So, I mean, same thing with online. On, online was, it, uh, was about 10 years behind catching up here. And quite frankly, I mean, so many in the nonprofit world are still really just dialing in best practices online uh, as a very important source of, of, of where the money comes from that they just don't have the resources and time yet to get to mobile. And obviously, texting to donate is a huge one. What other type of... Um mobile giving are you seeing coming out? What, what's more effective? Well, I'm actually seeing the most effective mobile campaigns coming out aren't about giving. They're about engagement. They're about getting you involved with an organization, creating an army of supporters. Uh, you know, the Red Cross in, in Fort Hood had a really good example of this when those shootings happened at the Army base a couple years ago. Well, they had a mobile the emergency disaster response campaign already set up in the community where people had given their mobile numbers and wanted to be notified if there was a need. And within 24 hours they had, I can't remember the number, but you know, over a thousand people come in and donate blood to that. So it's getting people involved with the core of the mission and, and from that comes money later, in my opinion. Um, and it's, it's a real shift in a dynamic from these channels, right? In the direct mail channel you just go and you ask for money. Um, and that, that worked, and that works for that channel, and that works for that demographic. But I think for the age groups that are coming 
say, into a more philanthropic giving kind of uh, atmosphere now, there's a higher expectation. You know, there's an ex expectation that you're going to engage us in your mission. And through you, you're empowering me to make the world a better place, right? So it's not just good enough to give money. I want to help make the world a better place. And if you can allow me that feeling with the use of mobile technology, online technology, all those things you can do to play and get involved, then I'm going to be a very you know, engaged constituent and will likely become a financial contributor at some point. So if the ROI is so much higher on direct mail, then why should organizations be looking into mobile fundraising and for what types of organizations does it make sense? Well, I think it makes sense for all organizations and every organization sh should be getting into it and testing things and trying things, seeing what works for them. Um, and it's because if not, they're going to be really sideswiped by the future. In other words, while the majority of successful fundraising, or I should say the majority of the dollars that flow into charitable organizations still overall come from mail, it's declining. Acquisition rates are declining, cost per donors are going up. Um, once you reach an unsustainable acquisition model, everything tips. In other words, so at, at one point, it's going to just be too expensive. Now, how important do you think video is in context to all of this? So, I mean, to me, video is the single most important um, asset that you can have in, in any of this, quite frankly. It's, it's the most impactful, engaged with, responded to type of asset you can get out there. A good, good 30 second video will, will, will go much further than pages and pages of content, right? In relation to fundraising, how do you think people need to create or position video to maximize fundraising, especially online or mobile fundraising? Sure, I mean, and we, we, we use video and, and certainly combined with traditional fundraising campaigns. Um, video is a great way to thank their donors and highlight the work you've done every year as a thank you to them and this is what we've accomplished with your help type scenario. But again, I think if, 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 if the bar is set so that now we have to engage somebody in our impact, nothing can, you know, picture says a thousand words and that's, that's very true with online video. Nothing can get your story across better than a well-produced video uh, that's distributed online. Now that doesn't get to everybody necessarily that is, is giving money to charities right now. But again, I think all these channels have to be set in place. They all have to be um, vetted by organizations. They should all be putting the mechanisms in place to, to be mobile, um, to be social. Uh, or they're going to be in trouble in 2020. That was as special as the last couple of months. Really, I felt like I just rambled on. And, no, and I was like, what did you ask again? No, sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. We're, we're going to edit this right down. <laughs> Thank you. Totally take you out of context. It'll be like, uh, <laughs> this is Erica. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> <Was good. laughs> Glad you could join us. I'm not going to say that one thing. Do video is the really single important? most important yes. asset. Well, thanks so Thank much for you. Coming exactly. In. <laughs> it's good. Be walking down the <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How about if I'm just leaning against the mantle? <laughs> <laughs>